Hi there. When I reviewed uh, some of the thrillers, um, I mentioned that uh, I was a big fan of 60s espionage fiction. Um, things like the Quiller Memorandum and so on. And there's another genre, which is 70s espionage movies, which they all kind of have a theme or they, they, they have a, a connection. Things like the Parallax View. And uh, the, the movie we're going to talk about today, The Killer Elite, falls into that category. Uh, as I say, there was a lot of films made in, uh, in that time. And I enjoyed most of them. Um, I think you can enjoy a film that's absolutely hokum. Uh, as long as it's well done hokum. So the plot of, of the killer elite is fairly convoluted and it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but it's, it's well, uh, well executed. It's a, it's a film directed by Sam Peckinpah and that tells you a lot uh, right from the start. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to review it, um, and this is the 1975 killer elite, there's another film called The Killer Elite, which was made more recently. It's a completely different film, pretty good film, um, uh, again based on a book and it, it's much much better than the original book it's based on the Feathermen which is supposed to be true and is really the biggest load of nonsense uh, ever put to paper but don't confuse the two but the two good films uh, nevertheless but th this killer really uh, the reason I wanted to review it it was um, one of Marcus's favourite films uh, and we watched it together uh, once and uh, he, he really enjoyed it. Uh, so the stars are James Kahn who uh, plays Mike Locken and Robert Duval who plays Hanson and Robert Duval is one of my favourite actors uh, of all time and they are uh, colleagues and friends and they work for um, a CIA contract firm called Comtech and they're kind of free, semi-freelance and they're assassins basically hence the title of the movie and uh, they get up to all sorts of mischief uh, either protecting people or killing people anyway Hanson gets a better offer from another shadowy um, contract firm and uh, goes renegade and, and retires uh, Lockham by crippling him. But uh, he doesn't kill him, but he, he sort of finishes his career, or so he thinks. And Lockham uh, then goes to rehab and um, regains his skills. And is, is after rehab becomes revenge. And he wants to go and uh, hunt down Hanson and kill him. For what he's done and that's basically the plot and um, as I say Sam Peckinpah so you can expect lots of very well choreographed violence um, it's not as violent as some of his films but the violence is well done uh, that's in it um, now James Kahn who, who's the the star um, he actually used to teach uh, karate for uh, Master Kubota. Uh, he had a regular class. Uh, Terry um, came back from LA uh, once where he'd spent time with Master Kubota and he told me about this and he said that James Conner is a real tough character. He used to ride uh, rodeo stuff and, and that. And it, it kind of shows in this film. And Master Kubota is actually in it. He's, he's got a bit part as uh, a Japanese um, character in it. But he also was one of the technical advisors on the movie. So, so some of the fight scenes are, are pretty well done. Also, Gene LaBelle was a technical advisor. Um, so again, so, some of the stuff was good. Um, the uh, overall, as I say, it's hokum, but uh, it foot does fall in the category of, of well done hokum. And uh, I think it deserves a look. I'll put the trailer up here and the film's still available. Uh, you can get it. I think it's on 
YouTube, but you have to pay for it. Um, but have a look at it, and uh, it'll take you back to an era where um, the spies ran around um, blowing things up and killing people and uh, using revolvers to do it. So uh, the killer elite.